From brutal home invasions to crazed lunatic encounters, we count down 10 of the creepiest Craigslist stories. Number 10, Into the Woods. Scott Davis came across a Craigslist ad and was instantly intrigued, hoping to make good money. The ad promised $300 a week and a place to stay, and all he had to do was house sit a secluded farm. He set up an interview with the employer at a nearby restaurant and then was supposed to take a look at the farm. After the interview, Scott jumped into the back seat of a white Buick with his future employee, Jack, and another person, the teenage nephew of the employer. They kept driving until they were out of the middle of nowhere. Then, Jack told Davis that they left some equipment just down the road, so they all hopped out of the vehicle. Davis was walking in the middle between Jack and the teenage boy when he would heard a gunshot go off. He ran and spent nearly six hours hiding in the woods, being hunted like an animal. Hours later, Davis finally came to a house and called the police. As it turned out, Jack was a man named Richard Beasley who would create Craigslist ads to lure men and kill them in the woods. The teenage nephew of Jack was 16 and his real name was Brogan Rafferty and together they had previously murdered three men. Finally, after being caught by the police, Rafferty was sentenced to life in prison and Beasley was sentenced to death. Number 9. Roommate Wanted It's not uncommon to look on Craigslist for a roommate, which was the case for Brian Boucher back in 2003. Boucher placed an ad on Craigslist looking for a roommate and found John Williams, and it seemed to be a good match. However, it didn't take long for Williams to begin acting oddly. His odd behavior continued for the 10 months that they lived together when finally one day, Boucher was fed up and broke into Williams' locked bedroom door in an attempt to pack up his weird roommate's belongings. When he went into the room, what he saw was disturbing. He found a piece of paper with Boucher's family members' names and addresses. If that wasn't creepy enough, he also found a diary that included the following bone-chilling sentence. I'm only now just starting to get over being afraid every time someone looks at me twice on the street. Every time a cop looks at me thinking they know. After a quick search online, Boucher discovered his roommate's real name was actually Dino Lauren Smith, a man who was on America's Most Wanted list. Boucher immediately called authorities, but thankfully, Williams had already been caught by the police. Number 8. Michael John Anderson 24-year-old Catherine Ann Olson was a graduate from college and looking for a job as a nanny until her career took off. She stumbled across an ad on Craigslist for a job that was looking for a nanny. It seemed perfect. However, the post was created by a 19-year-old boy by the name of Michael John Anderson, claiming to be a young woman by the name of Amy Anderson. The two of them made arrangements to meet at 10 in the morning the next day. Catherine's roommate told authorities that Catherine was apprehensive about the job but decided to do it anyways. Apparently, when Catherine arrived at the house, Michael greeted her and led her to his bedroom that was located on the second floor. It's unclear what happened, but during that meeting she tried to run and Michael shot her in the back and dragged her downstairs and threw her in the trunk of his car. Her body was found a few blocks away in the abandoned car and her cell phone was wrapped in a towel in a public trash can. Unfortunately for him, the towel had his name written over it and he is currently serving life in prison without parole. He apparently didn't realize that the towel had his name written on it. In 2009, Anderson was sentenced to life in prison without parole. Number 7. Prostitution Services The internet is full of men and women posing as hookers then robbing their clients, especially on Craigslist. Something far worse than that happened to Jennifer Papin, a 26-year-old prostitute who advertised her services on the website. She was contacted by a man named Chad Johnson on March 24, 2010, who wanted her services for $80. She didn't think anything of it, as she had done it several times in the past, and they agreed to meet in his car, but things didn't go as they normally did for Papin. During their meeting, Johnson wanted his money back, and she refused and he got extremely violent with her and choked her to death and buried her in a shallow grave. Number 6. Billy Joe DeLacy On August 2011, a woman named Moriyama Aleandra was waiting for her roommate, Luis Oliva, to pick her up from a bus station, but he never showed up. She found this out of character and called the police. Authorities went to Oliva's home and found a horrific murder scene. Luis Oliva was naked on an air mattress in a pool of his blood. He was clubbed numerous times to the head by an unknown weapon. 
It turned out that Oliver ran a male massage service in which he posted on Craigslist. The investigation into his death soon revealed that an army veteran by the name of Billy Joe DeLacy was his last customer before he was killed. DeLacy was finally arrested in 2012 and was found guilty of first degree murder. Number 5. FBI Sting Timothy McDara was well known in the journalism circuit for over 15 years and had worked as a columnist for both US Weekly and the New York Post. However, in 2005, he responded to a Craigslist ad that was offering the freshest young girls. He stated in his response that he wanted a 14-year-old white girl with a ponytail. What he didn't know was that the young girl he was supposed to meet was actually an FBI agent. Three months went by and after a number of putting conversations, McDara finally agreed to meet up with the young girl. He even offered to pay her for sex. FBI agents arrested McDara while he was on his way to meet up with the young girl, and he was sentenced to six years in prison. Number 4. Nanny Wanted Diane Warwick was a caretaker who responded to a Craigslist ad. The ad was for a job to take care of a 70-year-old woman by the name of Mary Jane Scanlon. Mary was in a wheelchair and hired Warwick to help her get in and out of bed, along with other similar duties. Then one day out of the blue, Warwick murdered Scanlon by stabbing her to death. She is currently serving a 31 years to life sentence. Number 3. Home Invasion James Sanders, like many people, decided to put an item for sale on Craigslist. His item was a beautiful diamond ring that he was hoping to make a profit off of to help his family. He received an offer and asked the hopeful buyers to come to his house to look at the ring. A married couple showed up at his door and he let them in. But not long after he opened the door, the man pulled out a gun and told Sanders, his wife and two children, to lay on the floor. The couple tied up the entire family and two more men barged into their home. Sanders eventually freed himself and charged at one of the men, and he was shot three times and died in front of his family. Four days after the home invasion, all four suspects were caught and all are serving life sentences. Number 2. Coupled Killers on November 1, 2013, a young woman named Miranda Barber posted an ad to Craigslist looking for a man that hated their wives. She soon got a reply from a 42-year-old man named Troy LaFera, and they decided to meet up 10 days later. Miranda waited in the front seat of her car while her husband hood under a blanket in the back seat. The couple had a signal, and when Miranda eventually said, Did you see the stars tonight? Her husband, Eli, would creep out and hold LaFera down. As soon as Eli heard those words, he leaped out and strangled Lafair as his wife stabbed him over 20 times. The couple threw his body in an alley, cleaned out the car, and celebrated out for dinner at a restaurant. They were both arrested the next day. Number 1. Stolen Unborn Baby Michelle Wilkins was 34 weeks pregnant, who on March 18, 2015, responded to a Craigslist ad to buy cheap maternity clothes from a woman named Dinelle Lane. Michelle arrived at Dinell's house and they talked for about an hour. After pleasant conversation, the two went into the basement of the house where the clothes were supposed to be and that's when everything turned horribly wrong for Michelle. Dinell struck her over the head with a lava lamp and threw her onto a bed and then cut her neck with pieces of the broken lava lamp. Michelle was still alive and Dinell proceeded to cut her unborn baby from her womb and left Michelle there to die. She managed to call 911 and was immediately rushed to a nearby hospital. At that exact time, just down the hall, a woman named Dinell brought a stillborn child into the hospital, claiming she had a miscarriage. She is now facing up to 48 years in prison for this heinous crime. 